I have been making videos for three years and I still do it for free. Please do your part to support these works and hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you have not. You're my thrill. You do something to me. You send chills right through me. When I look at you, cause you're my thrill, you're my thrill, how my pulse increases, I just go to pieces, when I look at you, Cause you're my thrill mm. Mm. Nothing seems to matter mm. The Queen Mary Okay, okay, that isn't the Queen Mary But just bear with me the last time I visited the Queen Mary in Long Beach, California was May of 2023, when it was still only partially reopened after years of being shut down. That was when I made my first video on the Queen Mary, which went all into the history and everything. But the experience left me wanting more, as much of the ship was closed, and the main thing I wanted to do after waiting for at least three years was the Royal Sunday Brunch. I mean, it has been named one of the best brunches in the world, let alone California or the United States. And, well, as you will see, I timed my visit for Christmas time, as everything is better at Christmas. However, I could easily add that any time of year is better with a Royal Sunday Brunch. But another thing I wanted to do after my last visit was to get some drone footage of the cruise ship, which I got to do this time. You know, I feel brunch is more rewarding with a build-up. Kind of like a movie, a TV series. You know, make it dramatic. Hence, brunch would be the climax. Flying my drone at sunrise would be the overture, and my self-guided walking tour would be the second act. And apparently, I got the cruise ship as it was pulling into the harbor. You know, I could see how some people would look at the cruise ship and have a sense of missing out and envy. But let me tell you that the Royal Sunday Brunch will have you so immersed in a first-class experience that you will feel like those people on the cruise are the ones missing out. After I was done flying the drone, I grabbed some shots and tried to enter the ship. Unfortunately, they turned me away, saying that the earliest I could enter was about an hour before brunch. So I walked around for about 40 minutes, going to the nearby park, and I saw water taxis, and my shadow, all in an effort to kill nearly two hours. And I saw some men with dogs, and it was all very relaxing and pleasant. But then I got to thinking, the hotel should be allowing people in. So I went back, and this time a different woman was outside. And I said that I specifically wanted the hotel lobby. And guess what? She allowed me in. And more than an hour earlier than the other woman previously told me. I guess that's the secret. You have to say you're there for the hotel.
Let me tell you, it was really satisfying entering the ship unsupervised and getting to explore on my own. I soaked up all that I could. This was my first time experiencing the hotel lobby and the hallways. It really is amazing thinking about all the celebrities that have passed through these hallways and these lounges and well, just the entire ship. As far as bars go, this is pretty nice. But the observation bar has to take the prize. And there I am, trying to show how it's done. You know, how to be there. Apparently, this is what the original elevator looked like. The stairs are literally the passage to all the joys of the Queen Mary on all her decks. Truly beautiful and magnificent. The first time I ran this shot, I spotted some water bottles ruining the scene. So I hid them and did the shot again. You're welcome, YouTube. Nice, a little exhibit dedicated to Cunard, the historic British shipping and cruise line that once owned the Queen Mary. Not sure what this room is called, but I enjoyed having it all to myself. This room is on the starboard side and at the stern of the ship. Oh yeah, this is the heart of the ship's operations. It has the tour center, wedding services, the shops. It has the main Christmas tree. When I visited eight months ago, this entire area was closed. They really made it nice. Of course, obligatory shenanigans for the camera. Shh. 
Shenanigans, please. Shenanigans, please. I will say it again, but I can't emphasize how much there is to see on this ship. This was also my first time going up to the sun deck. And this is the historic Seaside View restaurant Sir Winston's, which has been named one of the most romantic restaurants in America. It is currently closed, but the website says that it is coming soon. Well, another thing to do on the Queen Mary. Ultimately, there were just a few other people spread about the deck. Plenty of room for tasteful shenanigans. Smooth. I will say it again. But I can't emphasize how much there is to see on this ship. Shenanigans, please. Smooth, smooth. Being up top near the funnels, you get a sense of just how big the ship truly is and how small you are on it. And up here, I only ran into one other person. Now I have visited this ship twice as an adult, and I still have yet to see everything. When it was close to brunch time, I had to take the stairs down four levels. The Grand Salon. It was the first class dining area in the past, and the Sunday brunch is truly a first class experience, complete with a formally dressed host called the Commodore, and servers lining up and seating you. I actually was the very first person there, so I was the first person to check in, and I was the first person seated. I am so glad that I got to avoid the line outside. I also had some friendly chat with the woman at the desk. And the Commodore approached me while I was waiting and said, I am so grateful to have you. And I said back to him, and I am grateful to have you. For this portion of the video, I opted not to add music so you can hear the actual sound which was quite exquisite with the live music. I will say that I judge restaurants by two main things, atmosphere and portion size. And the Royal Sunday Brunch is right at the top of the list when it comes to those two things. And while the flavor is the third most important thing, and it's pretty good there, especially the omelets made to order, I especially enjoyed those. Well, I tried to save my appetite up for this but I only managed five or six plates. I was really shooting for at least eight plates. And well, the foods I wished that they had, watermelon, gourmet mashed potatoes, more fish, and ice cream. But overall, 
Not too bad of a selection. Ultimately, I chose not to get champagne, and the bill was just a little over $100 with tax. I would certainly do it again, as long as I had a full day free. After all, who doesn't want to feel first class? Oh yeah, I had to bring the Christmas spirit to work. Hardcore. Long live Santa.